They get a stem BD. Tana law was supposed to bring us closer, but all it did was divide our order. The council may have given up on you, but I know who you truly are, Dagon. Even if you yourself have forgotten. She had such faith in him, but she never had to see him fall to the dark side. Not a bad view, huh, buddy? Wonder if Grease and Bolt fixed the Mantis by now. Tanalore is real. And it may be the last corner of this galaxy that's safe from the Empire. I wish you could have seen it too, BD.
seeds. Can't do anything with it without a garden. I think we just found our ticket out of here. Easy. We won't hurt you. No scanning, okay, PD? A shard. Let's trade it at Doma's shop. We should take up prospecting, huh, BD? I bet we can clear that gate with a little boost from our new friend. Come on, Neko. Easy, Neko. Yeah! A sand crawler, you know what that means. Jawas can't be far off. We'll get around faster now.
All right, let's go. Now! You know your way around Kobo, don't you? More priorite. Wonder what this will fetch a dumbest shop. Buildings are ancient, older than anything else we've seen on Kobo. Here we go! You know your way around Kobo, don't you? Looks like the Mantis is back in action. Come on, BD. Let's meet him at the landing pad.
door wouldn't last against a roller mine. But where are we gonna find one around here? Look what we found. Let's move, BD. Wonder what this is, buddy. Impressive. So, this is your kingdom. I work with many talented scientists. None as talented as you, Centauri. 
And yet we've reached an impasse. Perhaps he will bring me some much needed luck. Not bad for an abandoned facility. Your zeal 
skill is admirable. Even if you do not survive, such passion will aid our victory. I do not know how to process that remark. Let's get back to Grease and Bode. Tell them what we found. new. Indeed. That mechanical mixologist is a miracle worker. I must know, did you locate the key to Tannalor? Uh, it's complicated, but we'll find it. Monk told me what transpired while I was asleep. To think the Jedi Order is no more, that must have been dreadful for you. We have both been through so much. But we must persevere, Cal. After all, what else is there to do? That's right. We've got room for one more? I shall remain here, but if you need my counsel, I will be at the saloon. I am very fortunate to have met you, Cal Kestis. found something out there. Oh yeah, what do you got, another holocron? A Jedi, from the time of the High Republic, somehow preserved him back to Dagon Gera. I freed him. What happened? He attacked me, escaped with the Bedlam Raiders. He's who they've been looking for. Says the Jedi betrayed him and turned to the dark side. Are you okay, kid? Tantalor. It's real grease. It's hidden somewhere in the abyss. Oh, that's impossible. The Abyss eats any ship that gets too close. The Republic found a way through hundreds of years ago. That's why they built that array in the forest. A hidden world that nobody has been able to reach for centuries. If you figured out how to cross the Abyss, you could just... disappear. Completely. No Bedlam Raiders. No Bounty Hunters. No Galactic Empire. I'm just spitballing here, but that does sound like a place that someone could call home. Yeah. Yeah, it could be a home. Get your feet down. Ah. All right, I'm going back to the cantina. You know, Grease, we could use a real pilot. I don't know. I mean, you're doing okay on your own. I mean, you could clean the Patoli weave every now and then. We don't know the Mantis like you do. Nobody does. Oh, Cal, I'm... I'm sorry. My best days are behind me. I, I can't even hold my card steady. I know things are different from how they used to be, but... I'm not sure I could do this without you. Is that really how you feel? It is. Well, I mean, I guess I could... Have Monk keep his eye on the saloon. Greasy money. <laughs> <All right. laughs> you in? I mean, there's not going to be much in the way of credits. Cal, this is better than any score. Imagine, no more looking over your shoulder. A safe place for us, for the ones we love. If anyone knows about a lost Jedi world, it's here. Jedi! Ah it's about time you paid that lady a visit. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna make us some food before we go.
So who's this seer we're going to see? A mentor of mine. Rescued me from the Empire on Bracca and dragged me halfway across the galaxy. Sounds like you two went through a lot together. We did. Been a long time since I've seen her. Wanna set out? In my experience, you gotta chase a lead when it's hot. How's it feel to be back on the Mantis? Good. Thinking about whipping up some curried burrowfish. Kitchen looks in better shape than the rest of the ship, kid. I definitely saw less action since you left. You're telling me. The spice levels haven't moved. Did you cook even one decent meal for yourself these last years? I'm not half the cook you are, Grease. And maybe only three quarters the pilot. Very kind, but the first chance we get, I'm making you a plate of Great Granny Pyloon's Umber Hatch. My favorite. Can't wait. So? We headed to Jeddah or what? Let's mix it up.
Let's see what we got here. my spatula. Droid. You got a good eye. You buying or browsing? This one. Good choice. Practically had your name on it. Ooh, that's a nice one. Good for nothing raider triggered the security on my storeroom door, and now it's locked shut. Maybe your little droid can use this encrypted backup code to get it open? Do your thing, buddy. My goodness, you unlocked it. Feel free to take whatever you can make use of. Heads up, E.D. Welcome. Take a look, you'll find the finest components in sundries this side of the outer rim. Now that's a Domodendra guarantee. Hear that, buddy? A guarantee. That's right. Shop's built on trust and quality, and I aim to keep it that way. Glad to hear the Mantis is up and running again. Hard to imagine life without her. Ah, oh, don't worry. That thing's as sturdy as a bantha. Not sure Grease would like his ship compared to a bantha. Do I look like I care much what he thinks of me? No, you don't. That's right.
I don't see what all the fuss is about with that droid. I think she's talking about Z. It's like that's all people want to talk about. A droid that old is pretty exciting. Well, I'm old. No one wants to talk about me. Look, let, let me tell you. I was one of the first people in this town, and I have seen a whole lot of fads and flavors of a week. Like what? Well, we once had a fire juggler come in. People paid to see her, too. Fifty credits a pop. Sounds like fun. <laughs> oh, yeah, it was fun. Till she burned half the food silo down. Ah, not fun. See, stuff that's new is exciting, sure, but what really counts is consistency. Reliability. I think I'll browse a little. for not bad with you. Let's see what we find up here. Cal, how good to see you. You too, Z. Should you find any data discs from my day, I'd be happy to decrypt them for you. I imagine there are many that remain lost on Kobo. We'll let you know if we do. Cal, I hope I'm not intruding, but what happened to your Jedi Master? He... died during the Purge. Gave his life so I could escape. I can still hear his last words. Trust only in the Force. Oh, Cal. I am so very sorry. It was a long time ago. Two centuries later, and Master Kree's last directive still rattles my memory banks. I'll never forget. But that's how they're still with us. I think you're right about that. Cal, I always adore seeing you. But you won't find the key to Tanador in this cantina now, will you? Perhaps these might aid you. You seem to appreciate this. A strong choice, certainly. That could be a favorite. I'll take it. A most informed choice, Cal. What do you two do for fun around here? Explore ancient ruins. <laughs> Fix broken things. That is raider territory now, darling. Yeah, going up there alone is a death sentence. Guaranteed. Show up at a gala without an escort? Oh, I would never. My friends, is this the inaugural meeting for the Kobo Party Planning Committee? Uh, perhaps. Oh, I don't know. May we really could use someone who has a bit more fashion sense? Cal. 
You've seen that waterfall near the forest, right? Is that the spot the raiders like to camp out at? I'm afraid so. Those abominable bullies! Why, this gem of a planet ought to be enjoyed by one and all! So our expedition is a no-go? Not unless you want to dodge some blaster fire. Uh, no thanks. Is there anywhere on this planet where one can relax safely with friends? Eh, there's a few raider-free pockets left. Kobo ain't what it used to be. I'll leave you to your new friends. Catch you later, Cal. Oh, hey! It's you! I saw you tearing through the woods. Remember me? Name's Toa. I'm a historian. Freelance, these days. Cal, also freelance. You planning on doing more exploring? Of course. This is my first time beyond the Mid-Rim, but I can already tell this place is a trove. Centuries ago, folks couldn't wait to scratch out a living under a new sky. And hell, they sure chose a vibrant world. Vibrant, huh? Hey, let me know if you find any more of those chambers, yeah? Will do. Cal, I heard about a meditation chamber. You gonna check it out? Oh, I wish. It takes some serious acrobatics to access it, and... <laughs> I could give it a shot, Toa. A shot? This coming from the guy who scales basalt pillars in the time it takes me to date my field journal. <laughs> Happy hunting, you two. Hey. This place could use some greenery. I wonder if I could find someone to help. Let's try planting these seeds we found. This would be a good place for it. And now we wait. Get to growing.
Got a solid beginning here. Let's build on it. Garden can use some of the new seeds I found. You go over here. How about here? Should make this look vibrant. It'll grow safe here. The Taros ain't built for the cold, you know. Must feel good to get back in the cockpit after so long. Fine. <laughs> Just getting used to things. Never been to Jeddah. We headed to the city? Nah, last I heard, Seer was holed up in the desert with some weird hermits called Anchorites. <laughs> I just wish he'd pick a more lively cult. We're getting a signal from Jeddah. That's Seer. I sent word ahead that we'd be visiting. Let me put it up on the holo projector. I got it. Cal Kestis, it is an honor. Yeah, hi. You see her there? We eagerly await your arrival. However, a dust storm is sweeping over our location. It is too dangerous for your ship to land. How will I get to you? Master Junda has arranged for an escort who will guide you to us. Wait, she's sending someone else? I will transmit the rendezvous coordinates to your pilot. Okay, I got it. Disembark with caution. Imperial patrols have been seen in the high desert. Thanks for the warning. Well, 
Hey, you made the creeps. I wonder what kind of weirdo she's gonna send to meet you. And the Empire's there, too. Not the welcome I was hoping for. <laughs> Careful out there. No pointless heroics, yeah? Grease, have you been telling stories about me? I got plenty of things to talk about besides you, kid. Don't worry about things here, Cal. Shouldn't you be heading out, Cal? Just wanted to make sure you're all right. What, do you think I'm not all right? Your hands were shaking on landing. You were watching my hands during landing? That's creepy. Watch yourself out there. Let's go find Sears escort. The rendezvous point is up ahead. Time to climb. Hang on, BD. myself.
Hello. They're not the enemy. I hear you, BD. Let's see.
like a scroll. Can't imagine how long it's been here. to Sears escort. Nice job.
have. Yeah. Until things go sideways. Maybe someone at Sears base would know what to make of this. before the Empire does. Let's stop. Been watching me? Like old times. Surprised to see me. I thought they'd send someone a bit more, uh, unfamiliar. I would not be so quick to judge, Cal Custis. Much has changed since we last saw each other. I can see that. Come. My speeder is this way. Your land speeder? Stormtroopers found it. Then we will take care of them. And it looks like they found us too. You ready? Just try to keep up, Jedi. Hold the line! Get back here! Charge forward! That's the 
blessed of them. You've learned some new tricks. Looks like you have too. Picked up an ascension cable. See anything I can latch onto? How's this? I thought you were off traveling the galaxy. What are you doing on Jeddah? Jeddah is part of the galaxy now. Good to know. I visit Seer from time to time. When I heard the message was arriving, I offered to guide you. Maybe someone at Seer's base would know what to make of this. We must get to the other side. Anything? We should Nothing circle yet. around and ambush them from above. I like the sound of that. How do you know? Peter, pretty banged up one too. It's a long walk. There are more than hot sounds in the area. Should we send out another scouting party? Or strap? We need to take them down before more arrive. Just like that time on Narshada. Precisely. I'll follow your lead. That's a first. Peter. Even if the storm subsided, Seer is too far to reach on foot. Nice. What are you thinking? Might be able to hitch a ride. All right. Follow me. Seems a step slow. Learn to take a joke, Troy. Through here. You're not stuck, are you? The way is blocked. Oh, watch out! Are you trying to kill me? Sorry, I thought. It's all right, guy. Stand by. I will fix this. What are you doing? Restoring the pattern. Incredible. That looked exhausting. You need a break? The storm is coming. I will rest when you arrive here. Where did you learn that? Tathamir. You went home? Yes. My sisters are gone. 
but their wisdom remains. They stopped at an oasis. Getting closer. <sighs> the creature is gone, but it will return. We should never have made this journey. May the Jedi protect us. There is only the Force. When you're ready. I really liked that speeder. Charging to the enemy's position. Someone else attack him! Hooks on my side. You got it? Of course. I'll meet you on the other side. Oh, it's you. I won't let you kill me. You can't escape. Take a look. Scared of you. I know. They have taken to calling me the Desert Ghost. Desert Ghost, huh? Haunting Imperials has become a hobby of mine. Maybe someone at Seer's base would know what to make of this. It have taken lifetimes to build this place. Now the people who built it are gone. I came across the remnants of many civilizations during my travels.
who this was? I don't, but Seer might. BD, does he look like Cal? Look like Jedi. Seer says Jeddah was once home to many who revered your kind. Perhaps they were. My kind. Guard up. I have missed fighting at your side. Good job. Comes in handy. If that was a joke, I hope you saw. Scryton lair. But where's the Scryton? Something's coming. We'll take him down together. Agreed. Spammel. You really think you can tame one? Worth a shot. Oasis! 
We're saved! Now we have the strength to reach the crossing. May the Jedi watch over us. Maybe someone at Seer's base would know what to make of this. Is the base far? Not with our new friend. And now we have to... No kidding. It's been years. You must have seen the entire galaxy. Almost. How was it? Amazing. The sinking city of Karatao. The Persia Cliffs. This galaxy suffers. But there is still beauty. Any run-ins with the Empire? Yes. These are dark times. I helped those I could. I'm just glad you're all right. You as well. Wherever I went, you were never far from my thoughts. <laughs> seen a storm like that it's hard to tell how long one will last let's not wait to find out my thoughts exactly you've avoided seer for years why visit her now i need her help we're looking for something connected to the order interesting are you still upset with us for leaving i didn't see it coming Marin. all of us going our separate ways I understand, Bill. But we had our reasons. Okay, now.
Another victory. Spammel saved us. So we can forgive it for leaving us to die. Agreed. Okay. Should be set for the night. Sit. Tell me what adventures you and BD have had since we last saw each other. I know. Same as always. Fighting the Empire, helping out where we can. Not staying in one place too long. And, um... I think we might have found something special. A place where the Empire can't find us. But it would mean leaving the fight. And well, the fight is all I know. Look into the fire. It will warm you. Keep you company on dark, lonesome nights, yes? But left unchecked, it will consume everything in its path until there is only ash. But on a cold night, like tonight, a warm fire is perfect. And the company is not so bad either. I missed you, Marin. And I you. I had to leave, Cal, in order to see the galaxy on my own terms. What'd you find? Myself. Reflected in all the places and people I encountered. Dathomir will always be my home, but... It does not need to define me. I never understood why you left. But... Sitting here now... It's clear you made the right choice.
You missed a spot. Morning. The weather has cleared. Let's go. Let's hope we don't need it. Well, we survived our first storm together. Yes, we did. I'm glad we got to see each other again. How long are you staying on Jeddah? I don't know. But I am excited to see Grease. How is he these days? Not bad. He opened up a cantina. Pyloon Saloon. He named it after his great-grandmother. Nothing's more important to Grease than family. told me everything. You have demonstrated great bravery and wisdom in the face of overwhelming adversity. You chose well? Well, <laughs> I wouldn't go that far. <laughs> the Empire has claimed the ruins. We'll have to find another rendezvous point. Unfortunate. But at least the storm covered your tracks. Come. Come, let me escort you inside. Master Cordova, did you find the Zepho? Only faint traces of their passage, heading deep into the unknown regions. Sorry to hear that. As it goes. Ultimately, that failure inspired me to seek out other Jedi survivors. That search led me back to my old apprentice. How have you been faring, Captain? That doesn't sound good. I've had a few scrapes, but I'm still breathing. And I'm glad for it. I heard some news about a Jedi terrorist on Coruscant not long ago. You were on Coruscant? is well hidden. Yes. Well, the Empire's presence has grown these past years. They are much too strong to fight directly, but we do what we can. It is critical, of course, that our work remains secret. What work exactly? Better to ask Seer yourself. Meanwhile, Marin and I will greet our new arrivals. So, how was the desert? Cold, stormy, and too many Imperials. Mm, not my preferred weather forecast. But more common by the day. Where did you weather the storm? A cave past the old market. 
Our Spamel friend showed us the way. You've a habit for making new friends wherever you go. A survival instinct, perhaps. I intercepted some Imperial communications. Your reputation is growing. Was there fear in their voices? Quite a bit, yes. Good. How are you feeling? Better. That tea you brought me was wonderful. Just keep trying. It's not like Brother Armai is to break contact. Cal Kestis. Welcome to Jeddah. I knew the storm wouldn't deter you. We're rebuilding the temple archives. Yeah, we're trying. As long as this knowledge remains, the legacy of the Jedi survives. It's incredible. Mm -hmm. But something tells me there's more to this than just hollow books. Yes. We're a part of a network. Known as the Hidden Path. We provide safe passage and new identities to those who have been persecuted by the Empire. Hunted by the Empire like... Like Jedi survivors? Very few of us remain. But yes. And force sensitives, and those who help them. Why didn't you tell me? <laughs> you never asked. Besides, I hear you've been busy making yourself the Empire's most wanted. I wanted to prove to the galaxy that the Empire is an invulnerable. That you can't resist. That you have to fight if things are gonna get better. And then they just listen to the propaganda and they pretend they're free anyways. Hmm. Yeah. You chose a hard path. And it hasn't made a difference. Well, while the Empire's trained its eyes on you, we've been able to build the network, find allies, and save lives. When you left, I thought you'd just given up. Was wrong. Cal, you were just a child when they sent you off to war. You know, there was a time when I remember that the Jedi were more than just weapons. But we both have our roles to play in this struggle. Yeah, but that's why I'm here. See her. Well, you get a load of this! Hey, Seer, you can't say it ain't short of personality, <laughs> but kind of creepy, though. Yeah, well, it's good to see you two, Grease. <laughs> <laughs> well, oh, hello, uh, BD. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> so, how was your time in the desert? The storm covered our tracks, but the Empire destroyed one of your speeders. It's a small price to pay for everybody's safe arrival. And who's this? This is Bodokuna. He's a friend. It's so nice to finally meet you. Uh, the hunk of trouble! <laughs> hey! We're all together! <laughs> yes. Now, what brings you all to Jeddah? We're searching for a lost planet. Tantalor, you ever heard of it? It's on the other side of a deadly nebula called the Kobo Abyss. Well, our archives are far from complete, but I'm sure Master Cordova is up to the task. With pleasure. The trouble is, we're not the only ones looking for this place. I knew this was sounding too easy. 
guy's name is Dagon Gera. He was a Jedi. Now he leads a band of raiders on the Outer Rim. There's an old temple there. Dagon intends to reclaim it. A Jedi temple out of the reach of the Empire could mean that there's information there that we don't have in the Archive. I believe I have something. <laughs> oh, you're too kind, BD. <laughs> I'll start with the bad news. Well, oh boy, this guy knows his audience. I found no information related to crossing the Kobo Abyss. However, I found two mentions of this Dagon Gera. He had a retreat on Kobo. And records show him frequently visiting a laboratory on its moon. Okay, we'll check him out. If you find anything, bring it to me. I am happy to assist further. Thank you. Both of you. You're welcome, Cal. I hope you find what you're searching for. May the Force be with you. And with you. I will escort you back to the Mantis. So you're not joining us? I cannot. So where are we headed first? Back to Kobo? Or its moon? Let's hit the moon laboratory first. All right. Maybe we can find something there to help us cross the abyss. Ready to roll out when you are. Glad you didn't have to fly through that storm. So, how's it feel to be piloting the Mantis again? Like being home. Then why the long face? Nah, it's been too long. My pilot instincts are all off. I know how hard it is trying to relearn skills you put to the side. I guess so, huh? Still, I regret ever walking away from the Mantis. Keep thinking I'm gonna slip up. You walked away when you needed to. I know you'll pick it back up in no time. Okay, okay. You're a good friend, Cal. This new arm is gonna make piloting a little different. But I'll get there. I hope. Oh, hey, Seer or Master Cordova's got the answers, not me. Talk to one of them. Cordova said he found you while he was seeking other Jedi survivors. Yes. Hard to believe that fate brought us together once again after all this time. Could have used that luck when we were hunting for the Holocron. I know. Luck or fate. I'm just happy my master is alive and here with us. Yeah. And determined as ever to tend to the Jedi legacy and resist the Empire. Have a look around the Archive, Cal. We'll talk later. Ah, Cal. I was hoping we could speak about something. There is a site, quite an ancient one at that, in the northern desert. I visited it during my early days on Jetta, before the Empire's presence grew. What kind of site? One built by those who revered Force users. We know little about them, but I found the experience quite fascinating. Perhaps you will too. I'll check it out. Cal, my friend, have you made the acquaintance of Sister Task? Don't think I have. You ought to introduce yourself. She's our chief archivist, and though I doubt she'd admit it, she seems eager to meet you. I'll stop by. Very good. Uh, just remember to mind your manners. She's Narcus through and through. Have you explored any of the ruins on Jeddah? I have. Quite fascinating, though my research was cut short due to the growing Imperial presence. Now it's too risky to venture outside, and we send communications only when absolutely necessary. Mm. <laughs> that is why I could not tell you that I returned, my friend. My sincerest apologies. We're just glad you're okay. Please, let me know how your field research expedition goes, my friends.
The Archive is growing, but there is still much work to do. I'll leave you to it. I need to focus. The spirit withers before the force of others. Didn't the first tract say, the life force blooms? Perceptive. They're completely incompatible. We seek universal truth, brother. If one tablet says withers, and the other says blooms, neither is universal by definition. So we ask, what do they have in common? What do they have in common, brother? that you ought to be reading them. No more dithering. Glad we found this before the Empire could. I suppose you have both studied Oisin's lemma? Yes, sister. Indeed, sister. Then perhaps you will explain to me the paradox of the fifth book. Oisin explores the antinomy of enlightenment. It's a paradox about the inevitability of cycles. Hmm. Explain. Enlightenment is defined as cycle-breaking. But, per the canons, to be enlightened is to suffer the cycle. The more we strive to break the cycle, the more we embody it. But in accepting it, we become enlightened, thereby breaking the cycle. Indeed. And what do you make of this? I think the meaning is clear. You can't reason your way to true enlightenment. Ah, the lemma has confounded scholars for centuries, but to you its meaning is clear. I, well, recall the canons. There is no truth but the truth of all things. There is no knowledge but the force of all others. Brother, perhaps you should revisit the fifth book. And while you're there, revisit the preceding books as well. Yes, sister. Scroll. Let's save it. It's so good to see you, Marin. What brings you to Jeddah? I came across a group during my travels. Their goal is to hide Force sensitives from the Empire. Have you ever heard of the Hidden Path?
Hail, Jedi Knight. I am called Sister Task. I'm Cal. Word of your arrival has spread quickly, Noble One. Master Junda holds you in high esteem. Seer and I have been through a lot together. Jeddah is brimming with lost artifacts related to your order, among other traditions. Should you happen upon any scrolls or other objects of interest, I would gladly exchange some of the treasures I've unearthed for them. I'll let you know if I find anything. We are in your debt, Noble One. I meant to ask. You are curious to learn more about the masked hermits helping your mentor, hmm? I am. We are the Narcus Anchorites. We study and venerate the Force as it manifests through knowledge. Your scholars? We gather knowledge, much like other scholars, yes. But our labor is driven by the belief that knowledge expresses universal truth. Through wisdom, we seek to perceive the formless pattern of the Force. Do you understand? I understand describing the Force as a formless pattern. Although, that isn't my perception of it. Indeed. Nor do we experience the Force as you do, Noble One. Why do Anchorites wear masks? Why does a Jedi carry a lightsaber? It's useful. It's a tool. Yes. Why else? It's a symbol. Very good. Our masks protect us from the sands, from raw winds. But so do they symbolize our vows of anonymity. That's some vow. Some vow indeed. Treasure for wisdom, young sage. Alluring, no? I'll grab this one. The wisdom you've recovered is a boon to us all. Gonna go with this one. That was fated for you. This will be useful. Thank you. The knowledge you've saved is invaluable. Try some new components.
You know, I never thought you'd end up as a librarian, Seer. And I never thought you'd settle down and run a saloon. <laughs> That's quite a change of pace. And a lot of responsibilities. Ah, you know, I age like a fine Alderanian wine. <laughs> I know it's been a minute since you've seen me in action, but old greasy money only gets better with age. True. You running any Sabak tables? No, no, I am done with gambling. Done with it. Forever, mostly. Well, I'm proud of you, Grease. Oh, can it before you make me blush. Hey, Cal, hold on. I've had this since I started freelancing. It's gotten me out of some bad situations, and I figured it might do the same for you. It's Marin, right? Well, I could get another one, if you think you might want it. No need. Oh. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're good. Okay. My master always frowned upon using blasters. You once said it wasn't the weapon that makes you a Jedi. It's us against the galaxy, Cal. We've got to use every advantage we can find against the Empire. Thanks, Bo. Now, I'll show you how to use it. Stay still. Gotta start somewhere. There you go. Not bad, Jedi. So, how long have you been working for Seer? I do not work for Seer. Right. My mistake. Got it, Cal. This is a smart operation Sears put together. Why do you say that? All this rock? Natural shielding against sensors. Yeah, and if anyone makes it past all that, the Anchorites have plenty of hollow books to throw at them. <laughs> yeah, you can see how Sears managed to evade the Empire for so long. She makes her own luck, keeping so much of her power held back to achieve a larger goal. Yeah. There's definitely more to where than meets the eye. You two have that in common. Stay alert out there. It's nice seeing you again, Marin. You too, Cal. Good luck. Perhaps I will still be here when you return. Hope so. I can't believe Master Cordova is really here. All that time following in his footsteps. I have enjoyed getting to know him. I've never met a Jedi with a better sense of humor. You've only met me and Seer. That's right. <laughs> Jedi and Night Sister, together again. some other components.
This is a unique piece. Ergonomic and effective. Not your typical blaster. Not messing with this. How does that look? Wade has a nice balance.